Uh, brilliant. You're all happy. You're all well. You're good in there. Listen, any questions, just stop me at any stage and we'll go back and do whatever we do. All I was saying was this um, Wave Lab cast, it's an absolutely fabulous piece of kit, DAW. It takes on an awful lot of the weight of the work for you. So if you're a content creator and you know nothing about audio production or audio workflows or cleaning up audio or anything like this, this is the guy to go to. Do you know, it's super simple. You'll have your head around it in no time. OK, we did a load of shows. They're on the Wave Lab uh, channel. OK, just look for my poster. We're right in there. We go through things nice and gently, nice and slowly. There's some great subject matter in there working to with with music, you know, um, remote recording. Oh, man, that was a brilliant show. We love that. Um, there's loads of really, really good good content in there and loads of super learning and listen we took it really easy no stressing we're all in here enjoying ourselves all right it's all good so what i was saying also is go on to the steinberg.net um website go to more products go to all products and you'll find wave lab cast there and the wave lab cast trial is on there here look uh, you, uh, <laughs> let me repeat what i just did okay so there's the trial version see that i can download a trial so i could get going with this like within the next couple of minutes you know and that's so good it's just so good so this week um well this time should i say the last time we worked we we were looking at um working to, uh with music in your content creation and that was a suit we got a massive response from that because it's such a one is such a broad subject and two you know people are really really interested in in you know managing their music and working with their music and thank you so much for all your lovely 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 comments listen lads you guys are flying it out there i mean we're getting great numbers on there so there's an awful lot of people watching this and i hope enjoying it i'm loving it it's all so good can you tell something how you use cast with field recordings i totally can renee totally can um and in fact, I'll probably come across, or I'll probably broach that subject as well in this subject matter tonight, because tonight's subject matter is working to video. OK, so if you have a picture, if you are doing something for YouTube, for TikTok, for something like that, and you want to clean up your audio, you want to have a professional workflow, because if you don't have a good sound, people aren't going to listen to you and you're going to lose your audience straight away. So if you put your video and cut your video together in something like iMovie or some other type of video editing software there's loads of packages out there you know the ones for about 60 bucks 20 bucks that sort of stuff the audio capabilities of these are severely lacking I mean on a scale of 1 to 10 <laughs> so why not cut your video in iMovie or wherever you're cutting your video Take the video out and um, bring it into Wave Labcast. Let it do all the heavy work for you. And now you have one seriously awesome sounding video. It's not rocket science, lads. It's not rocket science. So, field recordings. Rene, you ran out with your recorder. We've many recorders around here. You ran out with your recorder and this is something I do all the time. And in fact, um, I was just saying that uh, I was, I'm working on a, a big natural history documentary um, series right now, which is so much fun. I love it. I love it. It's loads of work, but I love it. It's great. Love. Um, so you get your field recorder like this or like this or whatever and you go out and you get your field recordings and you bring it home to your lovely little setup and we should actually talk about setups as well um i was talking to an engineer during the week and he's saying oh i'm all set up 
there's so many things that you have to consider. Uh, there's a lot of things you could consider. Uh, we might address that again. So your field recordings end up on your SD card there, Rene. You just import them, your field recordings, straight into uh, Wave Labcast, and you can work away. Now, you can do an audio montage in Wave Labcast, or you can work on individual audio files. Because Wave Lab Cast is an iteration of Wave Lab Pro, you know, and it's it's got a it's got that that um, pedigree of quality editor. You know what I mean? I don't go through one day without opening up at least one version of Wave Lab, you know, just to get a job done, bang it out. Brilliant, love, love, and when you get your field recordings back, Renee. I don't know how you manage yourself at home or whatever, but if you've got SD cards with audio here, SD cards, audio there, uh, all over the shop, it's really, really um, tricky to, to try and manage that. I have a, a specific hard drive just for sound effects. OK, so I have hundreds of thousands of gigs of audio files that I've recorded over the past 30 years or I've gotten audio libraries or you know i go out in gigs and i record stuff there or <laughs> i am that guy that just goes out at the weekend and has his dopey headphones on and <laughs> records stuff you know i am that guy so i have loads of those and and to find a folder to have a folder where you know, on your system that you can is your go-to folder for sound effects and you could break it up into Atmoses, you could break it up into backgrounds, you can break it up into all sorts of stuff. Um, and with your field recordings, you know, there's an explorer or browser on Wave Loudcast as well. So you just go straight into that folder and you'll see all your audio files there and you're just literally just dragging them down onto the, the, the workspace. You know, so it's... Um, Rene, you can totally, I mean, if I go out and I find a specific, okay, so yesterday I, um, I'm looking at a scene and there's these seabirds and they swim under the water. So I don't have that sound. So I lash out of here. I grab my recorder. I grab my daughter. She goes and um, puts a contact mic onto a water butt we have outside and I start sloshing around in the water butt to get that sound of the wings going through the water and then straight back in here off the SD card into Wave Lab, okay? Edit the things that I need specifically. Get rid of the dirt and the whatever else, the head and the tail and make it sweet and then keep that in my sound effects folder for when I go to cut the rest of the scenes of these swimming birds. And that's how simple and easy it can be. How do you bring low noises up, which are very important? Okay, so, Rene, if you bring low noises up that you recorded really low, depending on the machine and how much self-noise is in there, you're going to be bringing up all the noise with it. Okay, so just to be aware of that, okay? There's no problem. You got, see, you bring in an audio file. Look at this audio file. Can you guys see that? Let me just flick over here. I'm gone over here. See that audio file there? Okay, I'm just calling it deciduous leaves. See that? You literally just grab that, drag it up, and that's increasing the um, the uh, volume. Yeah? Okay. Now, there's other things in there that you can look at. Um, there's all sorts of fades and stuff like that. Envelopes in there, volumes, fades. You know, there's there's ways and means of taking this file and editing it in um this the the single pane if you will um edit the source see this see that edit source and you can take it out of your montage and pump up the volume pump up the volume pump up the volume bam bam to borrow a phrase from an 80s song and you can do that in your uh wave lab cast now if i'm bringing up a really low um recorded source then i need to select my track okay and go to denoiser and see the denoiser there i can just put on as much or as little denoising as possible so when you do bring up the volume of your audio uh the audio piece that was recorded low 
bring it in here and clean it up. Okay? Baby steps. A little bit by a little bit by a little bit. Okay? And you'll get rid of all that noise around those low recorded. Is Does that answer your question, Renee? I hope so. We better get going, guys. Time's a ticking. Time is a ticking. Uh, so, work in the picture. Okay? So, uh, hypothetically, you're amazing and you just cut this most amazing thing in. I'm just going to keep referring to iMovie because I don't really know any other... Um, I don't know the other, the other, good man Renee, I don't know the other, um, what do you call them, the, the other, the packages, I'm not going to say shareware, but the, the other kind of smaller video packages. I work in a professional, um, capacity every single day and thankfully, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I'd be dealing with the, the, all the major, you know, um, editing packages you know professional editing packages so forgive me if i just keep referring to say iMovie okay i know there's loads more out there so don't shoot me okay i shoot or i cut my whole thing my little video or my tiktok or my whatever in iMovie and i want to do a really good uh, job on the sound so i bring it in to wave lab cast okay so i've got my finished master video Bring that in and how do I do that? Let's flick over here. Just want to show you a couple of things that you can be looking at when um, you download the trial or you get your hands on the, on the full version. Full version, I say full version, it's all full versions. There's no light version of this. If you can get your, if you upgrade from a Wave Lab LE that you got with some hardware, it's only going to cost you 20 bucks. That's quite amazing for the power of this machine. Quite amazing. Anyway. Let's have a wee look. So I happen to have, here's one we prepared earlier, as the old man said. Um, I literally just grabbed a couple of video clips um, from a website and put them together just so as we can describe and talk about the different aspects of, um, what do you call it? Cutting to picture. Okay. So first things first, you go up to file and you can import and in your import, right, I can go to wherever I'm going. Imagine I went to my downloads folder. Where's my downloads folder? There's my downloads folder. Found a video and then import. Super duper simple. And I'll pop it onto a video track. You can't see your video track. Look at that. There it is. Add a video track. Add a mono track. Add a stereo track. Okay. So your video this is your super duper edited piece of video. Wow. Well done you. Loving it. It's in now. So you can imagine that like we would have intro music. A bit of voiceover. Maybe a bit of interview in the street. Okay. And listen man. Rene. This is your field recording. Right. Do your interviews in the street. And you end up with. Um, wind noise or you end up with home or you end up with just street noise on there bring it in here put it on a track get the D noise or get the D home or get the DSR out you know and just bring all the dirt down clean up that lovely interview that you did with whoever your granny whoever you met in the street your vox pops a vox pop is, is you go around with a microphone, you talk to somebody and you say, listen, what will be your, your opinion on working with Wave Lab Cast in your everyday, Mrs. Jessup from down the road, <laughs> you know, or something. OK, so that's a vox pop. Bring your vox pops in here, put them all together, clean them up. We're, we're doing seriously good work here, lads, already, you know. Getting your voice over in here, recorded in here, nice and clean, getting a really high quality, you know, you bring in your video, you bring in your Vox Pops, now you bring in your music, and now we're starting to mix our music. Go watch the show. Go watch the show from the last time. We did a wee bit of mixing and stuff like that, editing and music. Listen, man, this show is coming together big time, okay? Now, one of the most important things that I will say to you is, see here. Video follows edit mode. 
and that is checked okay see the little helpers jump up there as well it's all good listen this is so good so i got my thing and i'm dragging it up and down because i have a specific point in the video that i want that audio to start but where is my video i can't work to this let's have a look at here here's your level meter do you remember that in the layout when we looked at that you got your history and look you got your video so let me just flick over there ta-da right there's a video there's a young lad texting on the street there's a street okay there's a young lad scratching his nose stop picking your nose <laughs> and then we'll look at these pictures as well okay but with video follows edit mode let me just grab this and see the way that's moving okay that's moving with the picture so now i can place my audio where i want it to go okay so let me just show you this see this piece of audio here let me just shoot down here i'm gonna go down there now see this this is a car sample okay i'm gonna mute this for a second and i'm just gonna put this over here this is just for demonstration purposes see the way it, it moves along like that so i'm taking this car sample and i'm dragging it to where i want it to go okay so let me just play you this car sample i'm just going to grab my cans excuse me guys okay so that's literally just something real quick that i that i robbed that is not a yellow cab sound i want to talk to you about sound as well and the, and what you're looking at in your picture but imagine it was that black truck that black car so have a look oh we need it to go out sooner than that so i'm just going to grab that just to catch that car or else we could go for that yeah what's that car called i don't know what that car is. they're yaris or something any crazy anyway so now i'm shifting it around look so that's not right because it's it's delayed okay have a look so i'm not getting the right point are we going for the gray car let's go for the gray car so we're not too bad we're getting there okay so i'm just going to trim the front of that so as i can get it into position you getting that so that's why that video follows edit mode is so important that you can take your audio and shift it around and now you're finding the hit points in your picture that you can enhance okay that's just sound effects that's just um building up a picture an audio picture of your scene so why would i want to do that okay so maybe you wouldn't maybe you don't want to go and be that super duper sound designer okay and punctuate absolutely every piece of movement in your picture but there's other things that can help an awful lot okay so let me just race down here to this other little piece that i have here okay and we have these guys see these guys they're being interviewed imagine that girl is you and you're interviewing these two super cool guys okay in a hotel and you know the audio yourself it's not going to be great you got your 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 um microphone going there and have a look so la di da di da di da your man's talking man's talking the mic is straight up into his mouth so we're only really hearing him depending on how busy that room is so why don't we just enhance it slightly bringing up the bringing up your game okay so instead of just listening to him imagine we did this And he's talking all the time do you understand what i mean so now i have a lovely stereo bed underneath my audio it also hides a lot of problems or it can hide an awful lot of problems for you 
if you have dodgy audio. Putting in some sound effects underneath can really, really cover up some stuff. Just make sure it's not too loud to interfere with the voice and stuff going on in the picture, okay? But if you have a bed, a lovely stereo bed of this kind of audio going on, why wouldn't you? It really brings up the production value, okay? So imagine, right? We're looking at our street there, okay? See the car, I put in the car, okay? That's looking great, okay? The only thing is, it just doesn't sound right, does it? Why not? This is where I want you to use your ears. See your world through your ears is a phrase I always use when I'm talking to my students, right? You're looking at um, a street scene. Everyone recognises, say, from the TV or something like that. But I want you to recognise what you're looking at with your ears. Okay, so I'm just going to mute that car passing by. Okay, we'll go to the head and we'll have a look at this. What are you seeing? Okay. There's a huge amount of clues in there that can help you. This isn't a street in Europe or Asia because you can see the postal van. Okay, so now we have evidence as to where we are. So if I put ambience, street ambience from Asia over this, with Asian sounding accents and language and stuff like that that we'd be hearing, it's going to throw your viewer completely. Oh, okay, it all depends on where it's going to, Rene. Um, are you going on to YouTube? Are you going on to broadcast? Uh, no, EBU or 128 in Europe is is um, the standard. Uh, there's uh, other standards around the world. Loudness standards. There you go, anti-static. Loving this. So now, sorry, let me just anti-static. I'll be two seconds, guys. Rene, um, with going to YouTube and online stuff, it kind of fluctuates every now and again. Uh, I'm going to say the last time I looked, okay, YouTube is minus 13 or minus 14. Okay. Um, broadcast is minus 23. You know, that's your average loudness over whatever. But you have your meters in um, Wave Lab Cast. Keep an eye on them. Okay. Not too loud not too quiet because if you put a video up onto YouTube and it's way too loud they'll pull it right down they don't care how much they pull it down as long as there's enough headroom for them uh, they'll also bring up your video a little bit if it's way too low okay but there's a super thing if you right click on any videos that you're looking at and you can see the stats for nerds and if you look at some of your videos, you can see exactly on there how much you uh, Google pull or YouTube pulled up or down your video, your volume, um, your overall loudness. Um, and it's a really, really important educational tool for you. Have a look at that. Paul, how are you doing, man? I haven't seen you in ages. How's it going? <laughs> Good man. You're a stickler for punishment. What's going on? Anyway, um, Paul goes back a long way with these webinars and me. Good man, Paul. I hope all's well with you, man. Um, so anti-static, I'm so happy that I'm hearing, that you're hearing what you're seeing. Okay. So look at the footsteps. Okay. All these people are having a lovely stroll around the city. Looks like a hot day. People are in nice loose clothing. Okay. Now, anti-static. See his feet? Sneakers. 
Okay, let me just flick back here. See her feet? Slip, well, uh, sandals, yeah. We might see somebody passing with, uh, I don't know, hard shoes. But what are they walking on? They're walking on concrete. It's a completely different sound than walking on grass. It's also a completely different sound to walking on wet concrete. Okay? So I'm just trying to encourage you to have a look at what you're looking at and always have a mind to um, how you approach any sort of enhancements, okay? You might have a beautiful mix. You might have gorgeous sound effects in there. But if they're not appropriate to the scene, people are going to go, hang on a second. And it's just natural to people's ears because they're so aware. Well, everyone knows New York scenes from watching the TV or watching movies or stuff like that. People are aware of the sound of that city. Very, very aware. And unless you're sympathetic to that, you may jar your audience. Okay? With all the best will in the world. Andy Static. My heels make a crack noise, but my trainers are dull and quiet. Of course. You're right. You're absolutely right, anti-static. Okay? There's also the movement of clothes. There's a, there's a thing in filmmaking, and it's called Foley. It was invented by an Irish man in um, Hollywood back in the 20s, and his name was Foley. And what they do is they reproduce all the action on the scene. So Mr. Actor is walking across the scene. What do they look at with Mr. Actor? props what he's wearing how he's moving and the person the foley artist will go into the studio and put on a pair of trainers and mimic that walk going across the um, screen because they record dialogue on the day when they're shooting movies and depending on the budget i mean 90 percent of the movie could be reproduced with audio in the studio they only focus on the dialogue just to get the dialogue um, recorded well. But they don't focus on the movement of the body, the clothes, how they're walking, the weight of the walk. There's a massive narrative within how people move in the picture. And if you're listening to some, imagine some of those old 60s movies, okay? They really went mad for the uh, Foley Mixing it very loud in an awful lot of those old 60s movies. For some reason, I don't know why, but it's so pronounced. And it's really, really great way to learn about Foley and understand the character. Um, and how Foley can um, enhance the narrative within that, if you understand what I mean. So the character is sad. So he could have a more slow, weighted walk, sounding. Do you understand what I mean? Because you might just be looking at the, the head of the character or the upper body of the character walking along. So now the Foley artist can bring some sort of artistic impression on that and influence the narrative. So now that sad character is slowly moving along, maybe dragging their feet. How do we know that he's not doing it on screen? Do you know? It gives you an awful lot of license to do that. So let's just have a look at the uh, anti-static. You're on fire tonight. Fair play to you. This is beautiful work. So look at, these are light clothes. Okay. I mean, when a Foley artist sits down to analyse a scene, they're looking at the texture of the clothes. Why would you be rubbing you know, denim, if he's, she's wearing a nice satin shirt or something, I don't know, listen, whatever's going on in the scene, right? And don't forget, this is America. Another massive indication is the engines of the cars. There are size restrictions for engines in Europe. So the engines in Europe are much smaller, okay? So that influences the sound of how a city in Europe sounds, okay? Whereas you go over to the States, you got these big V8s driving around, you know, and just <laughs> going around. 
it's a completely different sound. So I'm I'm just describing these things for you just to put drop those seeds into your ears and have a look at what you're shooting. Okay? To try and understand, even if it is down your local park. Instead of just looking at the shot, listen to the shot. Could you enhance it a little bit more? You know the, the hotel lobby that I just played for you? The guys over here at the interview? So, as you're shooting um, your video in the local park, why not bring some lovely stereo audio into that? Bird songs. Lift the whole scene. We're coming into the autumn now in the Northern Hemisphere, so things quieten down a lot. So if we want to influence a narrative and bring in bird song to try and cheer up the narrative, we could do that. Because shooting on autumn days, apart from the wind, can be very, very still. Okay? But you can enhance that with some lovely stereo recordings. Like we enhance this interview with the with the excitement and the and the energy of a hotel lobby. You know? And literally it's walking out either with your mobile phone um, and trying to get some quality recordings. Let me just show you this thing, okay? This plugs into my uh, mobile and you can get these around. It's a stereo pair of microphones that plug directly into your iPhone. Zoom do them, the AM7 and the, oh, something else. Uh, the AM7 plugs into a, an Android phone and the other version plugs into the iPhone. And they're lovely little mics and they're cheap. You know, you don't need a big honking field recorder with super duper microphones. But you're getting your recordings and you're bringing them back to the edit suite or wherever your setup is and you're making things happen. I mean, really happen now, lads. Do you know? Uh, you meant live stream. Did you, Mike? <laughs> Did you say something to me earlier that I missed? I'm sorry, Mike. I, I, I'm I only getting that. I meant live stream. Okay. I'm sure you did. Anyway, apart from that, okay, we're racing out of time. We're looking at this scene, okay? Now, I grabbed a piece of software. Or, grabbed a piece of software. Grabbed a piece of audio, right? Uh, a sample that I have in my sample bank. I probably recorded this in New York at some stage. Can you all hear that? <laughs> so what I did was, you can see that, see that horn blow there? It couldn't be New York without a, a... yep, you missed. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, Mike, my head's wrecked. What, what did I miss? Ah, oh, I hate not being the brunt of things. Anyway, there's a horn blow, okay? So if that horn blow was up here, Could it be that truck? Well, let's just put it right back to where, because I was playing with this earlier, you know. Of course it's the yellow cab, of course he's blowing his horn, you know, now we're in New York. But with that sample, I can hear bodies, I can hear life, I can hear um, movement, I can hear energy, okay? It's really bringing that up. If I had that shot mute in my edit, okay? Now, there could be voiceover and music going at the same time. But I'm bringing my audience in to the scene. We're all in that place. We're all in New York. We're all enjoying it. So, yeah. So today we're going to be reporting from New York City. And uh, today we have, you know, a bit of music going. All that life, all that energy. Oh, it's gorgeous, you know. And it all depends on how far you want to bring it. Do you want to start putting in people's footsteps? Do you want to start 
I don't know, enhancing a narrative by shouting some lines off screen, you know. Ah, pretzels for sale, whatever, you know. And now you're bringing up the energy and the life of it. Do you understand what I mean? So this is all about the design within um, Wave Lab Cast. In the same mind that we're looking at New York Street there, okay? Have a look at this. So your man's picking his nose again. Hang on a sec. Have a look through. There's lots of movement here. Now, completely different scene. Could be a completely different city. Okay? There's not as many people moving in this scene. But why not have that amount of traffic? We're only looking at that scene from a specific angle. I don't see much movement of traffic there. But why wouldn't the traffic be over on his left hand side, so on his right hand side? Do you know? So I'm using the same sample for both shots, which are completely different shots. The first could be an establishment shot. The second one could be now we're starting to, to reveal our narrative. Bicycle too. Did I miss a bicycle there, anti-static? Okay. So, yeah, it's a completely different scene, but listen to the sound. There's still people moving in there. Stop picking your nose. Okay. Now, we could also be putting in tick, 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 of him um, using his phone. So how do I do that? Sorry, I suppose I should just show you. If I go into my sound effects, imagine I went in here, I went in there and I grabbed that audio file. I can literally just drag that down onto my timeline. You know? Yes, thank you. There it is. And I can shift that around as much as I want. When it's in there, okay, see with the car, we had a look at the car earlier. We were trimming that audio file. If it's too loud... We drag up the amplitude, bring it down. Quiet noises of Rene. Loud noises. So now we're building up our scene. Or enhancing our scenes with super simple edit methods. How do I get a fade in there? See the, the audio file I just brought in? Okay. There it is. Whatever that was. I don't even know what that was. I just literally just grabbed something. Looks too loud, so I just dragged it down a wee bit. And if I wanted to fade that in, you just grab this bad boy and fade that up now it's probably nothing to do with any hotel or anything <gasps> I'm starting to feel a spy movie coming on guys <laughs> how exciting is that so you know you don't like that bit of audio you just get rid of it there or else you go you can do your get back to the music show music edits we went to the start of the beat that looks like something there i chopped that out completely you know there's different editing methods you can use then we can soften that just at the end okay again there's all sorts you can be doing in way of lab casting it takes the weight off you if you need to clean this stuff up if you need to clean up your vox pops It'll do all of that. The reverb. Let's put a bit of reverb on there. All right. <laughs> See what I mean? We're bringing it up. We're bringing it up. We're holding them in. And we're getting them engaged with your picture. Do you know? We're getting them engaged, lads. This this is good work. All right? Looking at the same kind of thing. Okay? Just going to go there. See this scene? This is also a city. But it's a different area in the city. Okay? It looks more suburban to me. Um, quieter. But again, I'm looking for clues. So I'm just going to mute everything and we'll just have a quick look at just this. What do you see? Why 
one very pronounced thing that I am seeing and it, it I don't know where this city is but it feels kind of Mediterranean or something like that to me and those trees are talking to me as if there's lots of shade there it's a nice cool street I'd say there's a lot of birds singing in the place because there's a lot of sunshine going on you know but that said I just decided to grab this sample So what is that sound? It's a it's it's like a white noise. Um, it's it's rustling leaves, deciduous leaves. And why specifically deciduous, broad leaves? Because if I had needles like uh, pine trees, they don't make the same sound. It's like the runners and the high heels; they don't make the same sound. Denim and satin don't make the same sound. So by putting in the nice deciduous trees, we're putting in some air in there. We're putting the viewer in the scene. And we're bringing up the whole thing again. So yeah, we want to we wanna just emphasize that this is a different part of the city. So I'm going to keep some city noise going on in there. Turn that on. Do you hear that? So there's bodies, there's life. I know we're not seeing anything, but it's super quiet. But we're keeping the scene alive. Those trees, it's like soft water, you know, going for a nice soft water in a waterfall or something like that. It's just cooling. It's lovely. So let's just look at the little bit of scene that we have so far, right? We've just done a super simple edit. There's always one. So there's our protagonist. Maybe he's the super nose picking spy. And he's texting his buddy. And this is the establishing shot to find his buddy. There could be birds there anti-static. Totally. I'd love to put some lovely birds in there. I'd say sparrows. European sparrows. And in the meantime, our protagonists are in the hotel. Now what he's saying is... <gasps> How simple was that? I think we've got four shots there. Now things are really happening for us, you know? Um, yeah, definitely birds there. I don't know if you heard me anti-static, but uh, Eurasian sparrows... They're everywhere and they're fabulous and the gorgeous sound and they really lift the heart. That would be a nice little addition there. You know, really, really good thinking, you know. So that's what you can do with Wave Lab Cast. I mean, how simple we've been working with this. It's not, it's not that you're working and building these massive soundscapes at the level of a movie or the level of something crazy. Just like the hotel lobby, if you have your interview going on and you've cleaned it up and it's nice and beautiful in, in, in Wave Lab cast, just put in that little bit of stereo bed, okay? If you do have B, um, what do you call them? B-roll or GVs, okay? You know them from TV. So uh, you're interviewing the local councillor in whatever area and he's talking about the local park and how we've done super stuff in the local park and then there's a cutaway in the picture of the local park. It pans across, okay? And he's still talking. Don't leave that pan mute. Put something gorgeous in there. Bring it up, up your game, you know. And what I really, really would love for you guys to try, just for the experience of it, and to get the muscle, to develop workflows and a muscle memory, is get a little bit of video from wherever. Shoot a little bit of video 
from wherever. Record a little bit of sound or get some sound effects, appropriate sound effects. You'll know what appropriate sound effects are because you're going to now use your ears the way you should. You're going to see your world through your ears as opposed to we're visual beasts, we're human beings. The eyes are right up here looking out. That's what we do. We rarely focus on this, on these two things here. Whereas they do so much work in our day. It's phenomenal. So close these and look at your picture with these. Okay? And throw something together. It's a super experience and it's a super exercise in understanding sound. How sound works, how sound um, completes the human experience. Because in our everyday, in every location we're in, in every situation we're in, we're exposed to sound. And funnily enough, all that sound is totally appropriate to that situation. Because that's the natural sound for whatever situation that is. Whether you're in a shopping centre or in a forest or under the water or, well, that's going to be different because our ears don't hear the same underwater. Forget that. But if you understand what I mean, imagine a forest, imagine a bank, imagine a, I don't know, amusement park, you know, roller coasters, stuff like that. So we're definitely not going to put the New York street scene across that. Whereas there'll be loads of human voices in there screaming, yelps of joy and happiness and people milling around and kids screaming and crying and, you know, there'll be all that. And it's all just so, it's all about the energy. So if I may suggest that you get your hands on one, the trial, okay, download it unless you have you have um wave lab cast already and get that little bit of video whatever it is it doesn't matter it could be some sort of abstract thing that you want to do some crazy sound design to get you know your ipad and a software synthesizer on there and just start doing crazy stuff you know i mean uh, when i'm designing in my day i pull stuff from everywhere literally grab your recorder run out it and splash around in the water but <laughs> you know or else you know grab my ipad and and start working off software synthesizers that i have in there um anything rubbish um instruments my snoring dog <laughs> my she can snore <laughs> You know, whatever is right for your ear. And have a listen to those. Have a listen to them. Brilliant. We're going to wrap this up, guys. You guys were absolutely amazing. Paul, are you still there? Anti-static. I'm so impressed. Well done. Super work. Super work. Mike, I still have no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> Rene. Give it a lash. Go out and get your field recordings. Bring them into Wave Labcast. Do a bit of clean up. You'll be a happy man. You'll be a happy man. Um, who else was in here? Jesus. Ebu Kun. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I really do. You guys were amazing. Thanks a million. And um, we'll be here next time. I think we'll be doing something like delivery. I think we should do something like delivery. Getting your master out of Wave Lab cast and uploading it to your favorite podcast hosting, whatever. Um, or unless there's something else you would love to address. This video is now going to be available on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be sitting on the Wave Lab channel. If you know anyone that's interested or would like to learn a little bit more, if you're a student or something like that, bring it into the class. Give the guys the link and then they can hopefully get something from it as well. Um, spread the word. Yeah, 
tell everyone you know if you if if you're in a gang of creators or i don't know you're in a photography club or something like that this could be a real real boon to some of the guys in there and girls in there that want to start creating so by all means yes share the link do whatever you have to do um and we'll have a look at at uh, yeah so this video is going to be up on on youtube on the wave lab channel if you have any questions just put them into the comments below okay and i'll i'll get back to you i will get back to you i'm up to me tonsils at the moment but i will definitely get back to you um i love getting the comments and i love hearing from you guys you're brilliant you're all brilliant um it's the weekend go enjoy yourselves go on get out of here <laughs> it was such a lovely thing thanks a million guys and i do hope uh to see you next time um again if you have any questions for me or whatever put them into the comments below and we'll talk to you sooner than later Alrighty, take it easy bye bye which one is it it's not that one